So yeah, we are in New Vegas right now. I considered making a good karma episode on this game, but it doesn't really have these big karma events like Fallout 3 does, so I decided to do a quest mod instead. It's called Contract Killer. You kill people for contracts, well, for money. So we're going to be playing that. But to just not have this be a quest mod, I decided to spice things up a bit. I brought Wolf over. Now, through the... Fallout New Vegas armor conversion, he turned into his natural being, an actual wolf with kind of horrible textures, I don't know, he, he doesn't look right, but that's wolf. Uh, I got my costume ready, I got my beard, I got my sunglasses, I got an M21 with a scope, and my trusty M9 sidearm, so I think we're ready to uh, take on New Vegas and take on some contracts, but this quest mod right here is amazing. So I want to play it. This guy right here, he's a good voice actor. I like him. Hello there, I'm Bobby Bass. It's a real pleasure, a pleasure to meet you. You know, Judge Richter, he already, he sent over the paperwork. I heard you took down Mr. Sugar. Now there was some nastiness between you and the judge, and you know what? You looked right past that. You went ahead, you said let bygones be bygones, dead people in the past. And you know what? That takes character. You gotta be magnanimous. To be like that, you know what, you got good character. I can see that. You're a good person, good soul. And you know what? We're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna do some good things around here. I'm really excited. I heard about Mr. Sugar, and let me tell you, I got no not, not Mr. Judge Richter, he's my boss, so I know he might have different feelings. But I do disagree with him on this particular point. I'm, Mr. Sugar, he he was just trash. We go and we have these long meetings. Judd Rick liked his meetings. I don't like them, but we sit in these long-ass meetings. We talk. We try to make normal conversation. You know, I try to be a normal person. Talk about the weather, sex, normal things. And Mr. Sugar, he sat over there with this strange look in his eye. He looked like he wanted to cut my throat in the meeting. And I said, you know, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? I thought he was one of them sociopaths. You know, he got no feeling. You see, you know, he got no, he, he don't feel things. You know, like you see a pair of big titties, he don't get no heart on it. Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? I see the big titties, I get excited. That's normal fucking human behavior. He wasn't normal. So yeah, this is uh, like a spin-off sequel to New Vegas Bounties 1, I believe. Or it might be 2. Not too familiar with the New Vegas Quest mods, but uh, I, I know a couple of things about it. This is a pretty short quest mod, so uh, we're going to take out some contracts from this guy. Shoot some people with a subsonic 22, and uh, just have a good time. I'm excited. He was all about that shotgun. He always talked about that shotgun. He slept with that shotgun. I think he fucked that shotgun. I think what was wrong with him, his, his penis got stuck in the chamber of that shotgun at night, got all scarred up, and that is what caused the disagreement. He had that twitch in his eye. It was probably a twitchy, scarred penis. That's what the syndrome was. But you know what? We ain't here to talk about penises and shotgun chambers. We're here to talk about killing folk. It, it's not it's not pleasant work, but it's work that's got to be done. You know you know what we like? We like undertakers. You know, who the fuck wants to be an undertaker? You like playing a dress-up doll with fucking cadavers. It's disgusting work. It's disgusting. But you know, somebody's got to do it. Nobody want to be hit, man. Nobody wants to say, hey, motherfucker, here's a name. You go kill them. Everybody got their time coming, and we just... We just making things right in the wasteland, you know? We get the name, we go kill them. And we do it in a nice, agreeable fashion. We do it classy. I like class. You take this little 22, little subsonic, real quiet, and you're gonna go, and you're just gonna put it real gentle in the back of the head. Some people go in there swinging objects, knives, and shit, like they're some kind of crow magnet motherfucker. I'm not, I'm not agreeing with that. I think that's disgusting. It gives us a bad reputation. You know what we need to do? We need to do things the right way. And not go in there with a big gun, shoot them up close, make brains and snot and gore go everywhere. Imagine if, like, your mama had to go in there and clean up a mess like that. that that's just disgusting. I don't do that. I make a nice, clean body. And then they hand it off to the underkeeper who are food fuck ever, and they take care of it. What do you think? You ready to take on some work? Sure thing. All right, now, the first name name of Pat. Not sure what gender, but all we know, it is a Pat. You gonna kill this thing. Pat is too nice. Alright, I, I, now I like manners. I like people to be polite, but there is such a thing as too much niceness. 
take one of my dogs, all right? I love my dogs. I take care of my dogs. I groom them. I train them. I love these dogs. But sometimes a dog is too nice. He takes your leg and he treats your leg like it's a lady dog and he tries to make sweet dog love to it. And I have to kick that dog in the testes. It's unpleasant. The dog snarls. Sometimes he bites. I keep kicking him in the testes till he learns. That's how I train these dogs. They're very responsive. You'll see my dogs are very pliable. They're very tame. They're very good. Anyways, Pat is like one of those dogs that is trying to fuck everybody's shin bone and that <laughs> makes people uncomfortable. It makes things awkward. Awkward is is a, is an unbearable feeling. You know, it's like you... You caught masturbating, jerking off, somebody comes in that you don't like, it's very awkward. And that's what it's like being around him. Now imagine having somebody in your, come up to your, your town and it's like the whole town's caught masturbating. You need to take Mr. Pat, you need to take this little subsonic 22, and you just need to real gentle put that right in his brain and turn him off. Now you'll find old Mr. Pat down around Good Springs. You go on there, watch out for Easy Pete, he's a weird old man. <laughs> In the saloon, they got Sonny Smiles, local slut. I don't trust that bitch or her dog. I'd kick that dog so hard, he'd forget he had testicles. After I was done with him, he'd just, it'd be like a neuter, without actually neutering. I, I, I understand you worked with a Mr. Randall, good southern gentleman. You know, his methods, a little different from mine. You, you will not be collecting fingers or whatnot, for God's sake. If we hear that you did not kill a person, you know... We'll fucking hear about it. We know who you are. We know you're not going to fuck around on us. So, uh, just do what you do and come back and get paid. All right now, take care. See, as I said, uh, pretty good voice actor. And pretty hilarious, too. He's got dogs. I got a wolf. Got to kick wolf in the testes, apparently. Getting to equip some real good weapons for once. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the Good Springs, shoot Pat, shouldn't be too difficult. You don't even have to use the 22 pistol, that's the thing. You can just shoot him with whatever you want. Just leave a mess. Alright. I think that's him right there. Let's see about his 22 pistol, actually. Let's see, Big Mountain Transponder, that's not it. Bonus critical damage. Uh... Whatever hidden, okay. This is probably not gonna kill him. Get out of the fucking way, wolf. Damn wolf. Right. And definitely not very powerful. Let's just go with the M14 here. I gotta disable those kill cams. And I think Wolf is already dead, actually. That was even quicker than... Oh no. Okay. I guess he can't die. I thought he was dead, for sure. That would have been really quick. Like, even quicker than I would have expected. Uh, the game is kind of stuttery right now, though. But, uh... Yeah, Pat's dead. I guess just to make sure, I'm gonna double tap him with the 22 pistol, even though I'm pretty sure I already left a mess around here. Let's take that too. There we go. We're totally sure he's dead now, though. The old 22 pistol. And Colonel Angus. So good to see you. Likewise. This. This is that good character I was talking about. You come in, got the job done, you killed that little strange man, and and even his robot too. I didn't know he had some robot. What kind of fucked up name is Colonel Angus anyways? Robots are strange, soulless beings. I, I have a distaste for them. I do not trust them. So, to get to the point, here is your money. You have done a damn fine job. Damn fine. I, I am very impressed. I look forward to working with you more. So good to see you. My story? What am I, Mother Goose? Word of advice. Don't ask too many questions like that in this business, alright? 
you know, when you were working with Mr. Randall, you can all talk about your pasts and how you were wronged and you seek revenge or you, you got your heart broken or maybe you had a penile fracture in your youth. All the terrible things we try to forget, you like to bring that up and then talk about in poetic language all the shit that you see, all the shit you want to do, blah, blah, fluck and blah. I talk about a few things. Killing people, plants, dogs, and titties. If you branch beyond that, odds are I won't give a fuck. But I'll make an exception. Since you're asking, I come from the East, alright? Now you don't gotta know much more than that. I got a strange fucking accent. Everybody always tells me I got a weird accent. Well, fuck you, you Western motherfuckers. You can just kiss my Southern ass. That's what I think. People say, that's not possible. How's a Southern? Motherfucker, I walked. I got two fucking legs. I walked my ass here. It took me years. Damn near I got eaten by death claws. Sucked up into some radioactive fuck all tornado. But I fucking made it here, didn't I? How did you fucking do that? That's not possible. Kiss my ass. That's what I say. I came from the south. Not exactly where Mr. Randall came from. You know, it's all fucked up now. Hell, I don't much remember it. I was a young man when I left and came here. I've been here for decades, all right? And you know what? I do look young. Thank you very much. My appearance belies my age. That's the kind of thing my mama would say. She was a good woman. Don't like to talk about my mama. I'm very sensitive about my mama. You know, she would make biscuits. You know what a biscuit is? You probably don't know shit about biscuits and gravy. It's a delicacy where I'm from. Yeah. What was New Vegas like? Vegas, hard town. All right. They tell you, oh, bright lights. Shit is nice. When I got here, it was still pretty wild. You know, it was still wild. You know, you had cannibals running around and all kind of shit. I saw a dude get dissected and eaten. You know, I came here with high ideals, you know, thinking I'd be an adventurer and all kind of shit. We had desert rangers running around. We had tribes, cannibals. It was an interesting time. Let me tell you, I did what I had to do to survive. And I don't apologize for that, you know. Um... You know, let's go kill somebody else. Oh, that's great. That's outstanding. We got all kind of work ready for you. We got a special job just for you. This one is a preacher. All right, now, you might think I don't like killing man of the cloth, but this is an exception. Reverend Hitchens, he's a zombie. He's always preaching about corruption, gambling, basically the, the things that put food on our table. We do not believe Reverend Hitchens is quite so pristine as he makes out. In fact, he's something of a wild man, wild ghoul, whatever. To be clear, I like I like sex. I like love making. I'm normal, you know. I like I like to fuck three women at a time. That that's that's normative behavior. He he he's taking it to about five or six levels higher. He's having these big orgies with zombies with dead skin and slime and everything. Disgusting. I wouldn't. You somebody tell me to put my dick in a ghoul, I'd say fuck you, motherfucker. You can you can eat my dick. I I just would not do that. Uh, absolutely fucking not. You get more than disease. Your dick come back rotting off. You be glowing in the dark. Your jizz come out fucking green like a like goddamn toothpaste. I don't like that. So here's what we're gonna do. Take your gun. Take your nice little subsonic 22s. Go find the preacher man. Put one right in his head. You come on back. You get paid. Sounds like a deal. Yeah. So yeah, ghouls, zombies. We're feeling right at home here. With Wolf? Come on, Wolf, you can do it. I believe in you. You can be the best bait possible. So, uh... Let's use the M9 pistol. It's a tad bit better than the 22, definitely. Uh, right, I think we gotta go here. So, you know, just bursting, guns blazing, 9mm pistol, should be decently powerful, shoot the shit out of the wild ghoul orgy, uh, come back and get paid. Sounds like my kind of jab. I hear the Legion's fixing to attack Hoover Dam. Good thing I ain't there. Oh, uh, really? Okay. I didn't know that yet, sorry. 
Eh, we gotta follow this marker. Should be inside there. Okay. First Church of the Eternal Flame. Wasn't that part of Game of Thrones? How did that turn out? Okay, we're not gonna be talking about spoilers here. You know what I am missing? I am missing a good double barrel shotgun. I should have downloaded a mod like that. I like double barrel shotguns. They're great. Well, in, in, in armor, they're terrible. Um. Okay, I might have overestimated my powers here. Let's switch out to the M21 maybe. Uh, right, safety. Okay, let's see. What is my stim pack key? It has four. Okay. I don't think Wolf is doing too great down there. And uh, do I have a hand grenade? That is the question. You got a laser rifle. Eh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, sure thing. I know about vats at this point. Uh, let's go for here. Uh, that should do some damage. And uh, they're pretty resilient. Holy fuck. Well, I guess he wasn't lying by that fucking eternal fire. Woof. Oh, there you are. Okay. I mean, I kind of thought Woof was a gunner there. But I do think he's really invulnerable. Though I do think I can kill them. Good wolf. So good to see you. Uh, I took care of that weird exploding ghoul. Oh, that's just terrific. Oh, that's great. I'm I'm so happy that you were here to take care of this kind of nonsense for us. I don't know, I don't even want to think about what you had to see, what you had to endure in that nasty, nasty church. You know what? You didn't worry about the details. You went in there. Now, we get our own gun store, and you get paid. So good to see you. Right, let's hear some more about his uh, past. What's with the plants? Oh, you like my plants? I love them. I just love to make things grow. It's like when I plant my seed in a, in a lady... I plant my seed in the ground and watch something grow, although uh, with the ladies I prefer not to see it grow, you know. <laughs> Plants are so much simpler to people, you know, it's, it's life, but without all the crazy bullshit that you get with people, you know, hating and conniving and scheming and trying to mark you as being the daddy when you clearly not the daddy or you're one of 15 daddies, you know, with plants. All I gotta do is just give them a little water, give them a little sunlight, and they're happy. It's not like having some wild woman roll out of bed and put a knife to my throat because she thinks I'm cheating on her, which I'm not. That's why I like plants. Beautiful, loving, without conditions. That's that's the way I like it. Simple and beautiful. Uh, what's with the slaves? Oh, we bought people from some... Raznik motherfucker a while back. He he doesn't say shit because uh, somebody cut his tongue out a few years back. So that's all there is to say about him. He he doesn't he doesn't do shit. He's harmless. What brought you to Vegas? I love titties. That's what I live for. That's what I came here for. Really, what didn't have to do with money or food or any of that other bullshit. I heard that further west, what is now NCR, that it was. They had cities and women with clothes and, and food that would make things. And so 
I wanted a woman with titties that could make me biscuits. That's all I wanted in life. I have yet to find that combination. I have found a woman that can make biscuits, but she had no titties. She was also insane and tried to kill me. I found many women with robust titties, but they couldn't make fuck all in the kitchen. Not even goddamn squirrel on a stick. That's how I got here. I wandered here, walked my ass here. Yes, I did walk all that fucking distance. People say, well, Caesar's Legion, motherfucker, I walked around them. I knew what the fuck they were. I saw what they were. Crazy ass motherfuckers wearing skirts, throwing spears at people. Fuck. I'm not messing with that. Common fucking sense. Walked my ass around. Froze. Got chased by death claws. Dogs. You ever been chased by dogs? Walked my ass around Denver. Fucking dogs hounding my ass. Chasing me. And strange people in the wasteland. You know, I like being a homebody for once. You know, I'm getting a little older. I like to slow down. So yeah, he's a, he's a simple man. He likes plants, dogs, and his mother. And killing people. But, uh, that's it for now. Take care now. I think we already progressed pretty far. Uh, there's still some more to do, but we're gonna do that next time. Yeah. Nice little office. Even has a roof. With holes in it. <laughs>